This problem is typically at the level of a calculus assignment or quiz. If you're preparing for final exam level calculus questions, feel free to check out my YouTube videos linked above. This question is about Cauchy mean value theorem application and solutions. Let the function g of x be the natural logarithm of 1 plus x, and let the function h of x be x squared. Consider the closed interval from 0 to 1. Please verify that both functions satisfy the conditions of the Cauchy mean value theorem on this interval. Then, find a value c between 0 and 1 such that the difference in values of g at 1 and 0 divided by the difference in values of h at 1 and 0 is equal to the value of the derivative of g at c divided by the value of the derivative of h at c. Let me check the conditions of the Cauchy mean value theorem. First, the function g of x, which is the natural logarithm of 1 plus x, is continuous on the closed interval from 0 to 1. It is also differentiable on the open interval between 0 and 1. Second, the function h of x, which is x squared, is also continuous on the closed interval from 0 to 1 and differentiable on the open interval. Its derivative, h prime of x, is equal to 2 times x, which is never 0 within the open interval from 0 to 1. So, all the conditions of the theorem are satisfied. Next step, by the Cauchy mean value theorem, there exists some value c between 0 and 1 such that the difference g of 1 minus g of 0 divided by h of 1 minus h of 0 is equal to the value of g prime at c divided by h prime at c. Next step, now let's compute the left-hand side, that is, the constant ratio. The value of g at 1 is the natural logarithm of 2. The value of g at 0 is the natural logarithm of 1, which is 0. The value of h at 1 is 1 squared, which is 1. The value of h at 0 is 0 squared, which is 0. So the entire ratio becomes natural logarithm of 2 divided by 1, which is simply natural logarithm of 2. Next step. Next, compute the derivatives. The derivative of g, which is g prime of x, is 1 divided by 1 plus x. The derivative of h, which is h prime of x, is 2 times x. Therefore, the ratio of the derivatives is 1 over the product of 2 times x and 1 plus x. We set that equal to natural logarithm of 2 and solve for x. Next step. Multiply both sides of the equation by 2 times x times 1 plus x, and you get 1 is equal to 2 times x times 1 plus x, all multiplied by the natural logarithm of 2. 2 times x squared plus 2 times x minus the reciprocal of natural logarithm of 2 equals 0. Apply the quadratic formula to solve for x. This gives x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 8 divided by natural logarithm of 2, all divided by 4. Take the positive root only since c must be in the open interval from 0 to 1. So this gives the required value of c that satisfies the theorem. This problem is a general introduction to the Cauchy mean value theorem. The first thing to always do is check the assumptions. Make sure both functions are continuous on the closed interval and differentiable on the open interval. 